Hi everyone and welcome to What's the Buzz? Areas of Service by Omega Phi Alpha. My name is Kristen Brightwell and I am the Chapter Service Coordinator for the 2021-2022 school year. I act as the advisor to all of the Chapter Service co Directors and I want to go ahead and give you an overview of what we do here in Omega Phi Alpha. We're going to start with the general overview. As you know, we have six different areas of service that we try to impact every single semester. These are the university community, the community at large, members of the sorority, nations of the world, the permanent project, which is always mental health, and the president's project, which changes year to year. We're going to go ahead and break down each of these six areas right now. We're going to start off with the university community. This is defined by our board of directors as our active members being dedicated to giving back to the community that is preparing them for post-college ambitions by recognizing the efforts and needs of the university, the faculty, the staff, and fellow students. A couple of our project examples that you can do are finals care packages, a campus cleanup, sending appreciation emails or letters to faculty and staff, and volunteering at events hosted by other organizations. Again, that is volunteering at the events. It can be a volunteer event. You can volunteer to help an organization host an event or something like that. Project don'ts include participating in homecoming events and participating in events hosted by other organizations. You are more than welcome to volunteer to put on homecoming events for your university or again to volunteer at events hosted by other organizations, but simply going, participating and having fun. That's more on the sisterhood side, not on the service side. Our next or area is community at large. This is defined as our members recognizing the significance of their communities and striving to make a positive and meaningful impact. If you want to think about it a little bit in terms of geography, it is outside of the university, but inside of the country. A couple of example projects that you could do are sending care packages to soldiers, reading to virtual classrooms, and this is a great way to get involved in the with our alum. You can reach out to our alum network. We have a lot of great educators that have come through Omega Phi Alpha. You can volunteer at an animal shelter by passing out adoption flyers, making videos, volunteering directly with the animals, anything like that. And of course, working something such as the Special Olympics. Big community events are always a great way to get involved in your community in general. Project don'ts include campaigning for a political candidate. Omega Phi Alpha and its chapters may not be affiliated with any political party. That said, you can do something such as volunteering to help individuals register to vote as long as there, as there is no party or candidate affiliation associated with that. We're moving right on to members of the sorority. This is defined as our members deeply valuing their sisterhood and striving to serve each other, both active and alumni through meaningful, uplifting activities and sincere, steadfast support. Some examples of some things you could do is fundraising for the Omega Phi Alpha Foundation, becoming pen pals with members of other chapters or colonies, creating or updating a chapter ceremony box with supplies needed for ceremonies and rituals. Maybe your chapter needs a new tablecloth or your chapter needs new letters. You could fundraise for those, you could get those, something like that. And collecting supplies to be donated to a sister's classroom. Again, a great way to get involved with our alumni network. Some project don'ts are sister date nights, Netflix watch parties, and spa or mental health days. These are very short-lived activities, and these are more suited for the sisterhood side. So again, we're not discouraging you from doing them. Just make sure you keep those over on the sisterhood side, and we want ours to have some sort of our service to our members of the sorority to provide some sort of lasting benefit to the members. Nations of the world is our final geographic area of service, and this is defined as our members taking action through service on issues that impact humanity across the globe. Some examples include collecting donations for schools overseas, partnering with UNICEF, complete um, using charity your phone for charity miles when it benefits an appropriate organization, or something like invisible children. Project don'ts include care packages for soldiers overseas or anything else benefiting United States citizens, because again, that would be better suited for community at large. Our permanent project is mental health, which is defined as our members championing psychological and emotional well-being for all through partnerships with national organizations or projects that address underlying issues impacting a person's mental health. Why is this our mental, our permanent project, you may be asking? This was Susan Terzian's President's Project herself, and at the 1971 convention, it was set to be the per permanent project in order to honor her. 
some examples of things that you could do is partnering with NAMI, going to or a, not attending, but volunteering at an out of the darkness walk, hosting a crisis intervention or safe space training for sisters. And again, you can, if you host a safe space training for your sisters and require that they show up, that could be either mental health or members of the sorority. If you decide that you will be hosting that project for others, that could be a great mental health project. Some Another don't is that spa or relaxation day, because again, that's more sisterhood, but do definitely do those because those are great for your mental health and we love to get to know our sisters. And finally, we have our president's project, which is de de defined as our members dedicating time and effort to support a focused area of service that is designated annually by the national president. This changes annually every year, and this information can be found on the Omega Phi Alpha website or here on the YouTube channel. We do release a video every year of the national president releasing that information, giving some examples of what you can do and explaining why it is significant to them. As our little bit of a co conclusion, a couple of reminders. Many projects can be counted towards multiple areas of service. Choose the one that makes the most sense for your chapter. So if you are hosting one of those safe space events for your sisters, you can put that in the sisterhood category or in the mental health category. You can go with what your chapter needs at that time. Remember, you are required to do at least one project in each of these areas each semester. If you have any questions at all about service, about how a project is counted, if it counts, anything at all, you can always contact your chapter CSC or myself directly, the chapter service coordinator. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic and amazing time as a sister of Omega Phi Alpha this year, and I look forward to getting to know each and every one of you.